it's Anina and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Theater Thursday. I need to get like a proper intro for Theater Thursday. Yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to show you another theater makeup trick and that is how to create bruises. It's really, really simple and I'm going to show you how to do it using these cheap children's face painting crayons that I got at the crazy store. So I start off using yellow. I want this to look like all the bruises. Tip, the fresher the bruise, the less yellow you use. Yellow means that the blood is being absorbed by the body and is affected by gravity. Next I use the green over and above the yellow. I use the same brush as it helps to mix the colors. And besides, we don't want to waste anything and get hit again. Next is the blue. This is what makes it look like a real bruise. The one that you want to poke when you see it on your friend. The blue is usually at the softer parts around a bone. And lastly, the red. Mix it with the blue to make it a little bit more purple. But the redder, the more painful. The red is also usually on the hardest parts of the body that got hurt more on impact, like the cheekbone. Seeing that it's good manners to turn the other cheek, let's do it on the other side as well. First the yellow, then the green, then the blue, and then the red. I usually talk way too much and must be shut up forcibly. So, if I don't want to listen, I have to feel. So, just some tips and reminders on bruises. The more yellow, the older the bruise. The more red, the fresher the bruise. The yellow is always on the outer edges of the bruise, but it gets dragged down because of gravity. The blue or purple covers the biggest area, and it is on the softest parts of the body where blood has space to accumulate. Bone and hard parts of the body are always impacted the most and therefore it gets hurt the most and therefore needs the most blood and that's why we add the red. Hey guys, just a reminder that violence is never an option and if you are or you know someone that is abused, please speak up and contact the Tears Foundation for help and assistance. Their contact information will be provided below. Well, there you have it. This is how I do my bruise makeup for the stage. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Theatre Thursday, please hit the like and the subscribe button. And then, if there is any other theatre makeup tutorials that you would like to see, please leave me a message in the comment section below and I would definitely do it next time. Thank you. Bye.